Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back here with another speed edit voiceover video for you. Uh, this time with a picture I took when I was abroad shooting some beauty. Um, and this particular image was taken with a natural light. That makes it interesting and a little bit more challenging to retouch as there wasn't enough highlights on the face and there wasn't enough dimension. The light was very uh, soft and very flat. So I had to go a little bit more creative and uh, create a little more dimension and shadows and highlight with the dodging and burning. As you can see I've started uh, cleaning the hair and a face on empty layers uh, using a healing brush, spot healing brush for a hair, a clone stamp tool and a clone stamp tool also for a face. Uh, the model had a really really nice uh, clean skin so there was not much retouching or cleaning needed to be done. Uh, obviously if you're shooting a beauty it's better if you choose a model for you uh, that has a clean skin. It will save you lots of time in post-production and also the makeup application will be much easier and, and all will look much better. But obviously even the flawless models still need a little bit of uh, push and a little bit of retouching to make them flawless. If you know my style and my work, you know I really like a uh, really nice flawless uh, skin, uh, yet still natural. I'm keeping all the texture with the dodging and burning. As you see, I'm starting with the micro dodging and burning that is uh, cleaning the skin uh, even further and making sure the transitions between the light and the shadows are seamless. Uh, when I move on to uh, general dodging and burning, I'm um, doing a little bit more contouring uh, than usually. Uh, I'm also adding a little bit of blend if further in my workflow to uh, bring a little more highlights into the face. If you want to see um, how to use the blend if for adding natural glow, uh, I made a video about it. I'll link it uh, in the upper corner here and also in the description so you can go have a look. When I'm contouring I'm never using a helping layers um, as I like to see the colors and the picture in the fall. As I mentioned this picture was taken uh, only using a natural light and uh, I believe we had a silver reflector underneath the model's face just to bring a little bit more um, catch light in her eye and a little bit more shine into her face. Um, the window light we used was directly behind me. Uh, it was a diffused light, there was no direct sunlight or anything like that. It was just a very very soft uh, daylight coming through the window. So this picture was taken with a lower f-stop. You see uh, that's why the lips are not in focus uh, as much as the rest of the face. Um, I also used a higher ISO so the picture is a little bit grainy, not too much, but actually like uh, this grainy effect, uh, it gives a little bit more like old school vibe or something like that. Uh, moving on to liquify and fixing the hair and the lips as well as uh, prolonging the neck uh, slightly. Uh, this is not what I usually do but I felt like it's going to be a good idea for this particular picture. Um, after the liquify is done I'm just adding a little bit of color grading and another set of dodging and burning curves to kind of fix and further retouch little details that I always like, find there is still something to retouch after color grading. Uh, if you're using a dodging and burning, then you know that you can go as long as you want basically. Uh, I could sit and spend two, three, four hours solely on dodging and burning, but for this particular picture, it's going to be used uh, only for Instagram and an online portfolio. It's not gonna get printed, uh, it's not for commercial or anything like that, so not uh, such a, a precious job would need to be done. Um, on the end I'm just playing a little bit more with the contouring uh, again because the picture was taken with natural light and it was uh, quite flat uh, to start with I needed to add a little bit more contours so it looks more uh, dimensional. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, retouching video. This picture took me about uh, two hours to retouch in total just because there was a little, it was a little bit challenging uh, to create very natural shadows and highlights on the face uh, due 
to the light that I used. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye!